Everyone, welcome to another CSI tasting room. We have a uh, more earthy uh, CSI setup for us today. Uh, we went with Morphogen's new Vegagen, and this was actually inspired by our very own Spencer Lynn. We actually have two flavors to try out today. We have the Snickerdoodle and the Banana Nut Bread. So kind of perfect right there for rolling into our, you know, fall, wintry seasons. So really excited about this one. Uh, Morphogen has been a huge supporter of Compound Solutions for almost every one of their products. So to get to try their new vegan product that I know they were really excited about to show off the Almond Bliss, uh, we are just as pumped. So the crew I got with me today is Kyle Adams. What's up guys? Spencer Lynn. Hey everybody. And Chaz Jones. What's going on everybody? So before we taste this one, I'm going to have our guy Spencer lead in with the uh, ingredient profile so you guys can kind of take a look at Vegagen and what makes it so different than a regular vegan protein. Yes, I got uh, our banana nut bread flavor right here in front of me. So per scoop, you get 110 calories with 1.5 grams of fat, 4 carbs, and then 20 grams of protein from organic pea protein and then organic brown rice protein. And what's really cool about Vegagen is they use our instaminos so they add some branch chain amino acids to their uh, the amino acid profile of this vegan protein to make it a more complete protein. Um, vegan proteins aren't you know by themselves a complete protein, so they add our instaminos for a little extra help there, which is really cool. Definitely with you on that. And I got to say one thing I did not notice about Vegagen until we started looking deeper into the formula: you get 38 scoops on one of these. Um, so I usually suffer yeah. from the vegan proteins I purchase are uh, premium price, probably at least $50, but they usually contain 20 servings if it's 20 grams of protein. I've seen less that, more that go usually less than that. So to get 20 grams of protein with the added aminos from Insta Aminos and 38 servings, it's huge value. Um, so really cool. Guys, if, if we're ready, are we starting with uh, Snickerdoodle or Banana Nut? Man, I mix mine up and I don't know which is which, so we're getting into this stuff. <laughs> Kyle, go with what you got. We'll identify right. it on the way. If you guys can, let's shoot for banana. Okay, I got banana. That's snickerdoodle. All right. Let's mix it up, everybody. Wow. I like it. I definitely I get a, I get a banana flavor right away. Yeah, I mean, it tastes like a banana nut muffin. I was gonna say that aftertaste is where you kind of get more of the banana nut bread. Flavor. Yeah, the bread on the aftertaste. Good. <clears throat> yeah, I um, I'm usually super wary of banana products because I feel like every time I've tried one, I get a super aggressive like banana laffy taffy aftertaste. Mm. And this is like banana up front, and then it kind of smooths its way off. I'm totally with you guys. Yeah, I agree. It's definitely a, a natural banana. I know what you mean by that Laffy Taffy. It's almost like a chemically banana. Mm -hmm. This isn't like that at all. I can think of some old proteins in the past I've had that are that chemical banana. It's kind of gross. But totally. this is a very natural, natural banana for sure. Spencer, you said he used pea protein and brown rice. Is that is that right? Yeah, we got organic pea protein and then organic brown rice protein. Yep. Yeah, it's uh so with pea protein and brown rice as well, you can get a grittiness to your vegan proteins. That's where something like uh, you know, like a pumpkin seed or a watermelon seed tends to be a little bit smoother. So it is um it is kind of gritty, but it's not that bad. And the flavor is so good that it's enjoyable. So with a yeah. lot of vegan proteins, they're thin, they're gritty, they're kind of sandy, uh, they just have a terrible mouthfeel. While this has a bit of grittiness, it's got a really good flavor. It's a lot thicker, so it's actually really enjoyable. Yeah, I definitely, there is definitely a little bit of grittiness there, but it fits with the banana nut flavor. It's almost like the muffin, it makes Agreed. up like the muffin portion for me. Agreed. I'm with you. You guys cool with trying the snickerdoodle? Let's try the yeah, snickerdoodle. Absolutely. All right, I'm gonna rinse out my mouth real quick because I'm not gonna lie, mine is pretty thick. Yeah, the snickerdoodle for me mixed up thicker than the banana nut. So that's that's interesting. Dude, man, that smells good. Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> oh, man. Mm, mm. Wow. That's really good. Yeah. Mm. That's, that's on point. That's man. really, really freaking good. It's a very good flavor. I noticed that when I, whenever I was mixing them up, the snickerdoodle smelled much stronger than the banana nut did. Mm -hmm. um, 
And I think it, it tastes much stronger too. Uh, I'm a big I'm a big snickerdoodle cinnamon guy. I love you know cinnamon oatmeal. Um, this is wow. This is really good. This would be phenomenal in in protein oats. Anybody out there does proats? This would be amazing in that. Yeah, I expected a lot of times with anything cinnamon uh, and a protein, it ends up just tasting like like a cinnamon toast crunch milk, you know, like the aftertaste of the milk. Not the case here. This tastes just like a snickerdoodle, like a liquefied snickerdoodle. It's amazing, honestly. It's got. Um, you get. I, I get a little bit of like creaminess and like vanilla y on the back end too. For sure. You Guys, got, what are you thinking? I was gonna say for again. I, I know that we've done some vegan, you know, taste tests in the past, but. Um, Again, I'm not typically the one who drinks or, or chooses to buy a vegan product. And um, my hat's off to Morphogen because not only is the flavor good, but you know, I know we talked about consistency. I actually, this one's a, the, the way that I mix the snickerdoodle up was like a perfect uh, ratio because it is a little bit thicker, but not as thick as a casein shake. A little bit of that grittiness, kind of like you're, you're saying, but it almost fits the profile of the flavor. And on top of it, I got to bring my inner fat kid out, man. This would be great in protein pancakes and waffles again. Oh yeah, huge. I mean, this um, snickerdoodle is without a doubt my favorite cookie. It's kind of crazy to me. I, I'm and it's definitely gonna be my mind playing with me, but I almost get this like even doughy sense to it, and then some of that cinnamon in there. And so I'm just trying to figure out how they kind of put this together because it being hard to flavor already from being a vegan protein, but then you get this. I mean, dead on accuracy for the snickerdoodle. I am, I'm just yeah. blown away right now. And it, it is it, it mixed up thick for me too. And it's almost like, you can almost like chew on it as you're drinking it, but mm -hmm. I like it. It makes it even more like a snickerdoodle cookie, which is really cool. Man. Yeah. Shout out to, to Ben over at Morphogen for honestly just being innovative. This has got a, a badass vegan protein that just tried. His pre-workouts are fully loaded. Uh, his Volugen, his, his, you know, his home product, his non-stem is fully loaded. Uh, I mean, that guy spares no expense in formulation. Uh, but there's a lot of times with, with formulas where you just throw the kitchen sink at it. And you just put 15 patent ingredients in there and call it like innovative. Uh, that's, not the, that's not what Ben does. Like Ben has a very strategic uh, idea on what he formulates, I think. And so mm -hmm. his aren't like the kitchen sink. His are, his are very well done, uh, very effective, um, you know, easy marketing behind it, but uh, honestly just some badass formulas so we appreciate you being innovative and helping to kind of change the industry for the better man for sure for, for sure and i feel like that's how you kind of felt spencer because you were the first one that brought up yeah. i mean we've all talked about morphogen many times like you see a brand doing so many of the right things gotta try something what was it originally that caught your eye spencer about the vega gen just kind of as kyle mentioned just their whole line just really intelligent well thought out formulas and ben is kind of almost like a like an F you to the rest of everybody else, just loading formulas, putting like every, every thing you could possibly want into a formula and just doing it. Um, so kind of, you gotta appreciate him for going out on a limb like that. When so many companies are just, you know, putting the bare minimums in there or, you know, just not really well, well-planned formulas, he's the exact opposite. Chaz, I feel like you might feel the same way being around forever, seeing so many formulations. What are your thoughts, man? Uh, it uh, it kind of brings me back about five years ago when one of my friends even mentioned Morphogen. And uh, I had never heard of them before then. And as I started to look into their formulas, I mean, I was thoroughly impressed. You know, I was obviously with one of the uh, his competitors at the time. And I was still talking about it because I, I, you know, getting a chance to try some of the samples of the products. You know, very, very well thought out formulas like Spencer had mentioned. Um, and, uh, you know, some of the other products too being so fully formulated, like, Taste profile was pretty good, so I was interested to see what this is like because kind of like Kyle and Spencer allude to, it's a little bit more advanced than just a plain protein or a vegan protein. And um, yeah, I mean, like I said, hats off to them because like getting to, able to try another vegan protein that I'm impressed with the flavor says a lot. For sure, so hard to do, you know? And usually guys like Ben, you would think you'd get these crazy formulas, but then you'd never be able to back it up and taste. That's hard to do. So you kind of get that synergistic benefit of both. It's like well thought out. Um, let's start with our like it or love it, guys. Would you, if we're going with banana nut, just banana nut on this one, like it, love it. Kyle, hit me. One, one more try. I just had the I just had the snickerdoodle. <laughs> asked about the one I tried ten minutes ago. Man, come on. All right, I'll wait. I love it. Okay. I love it. So much banana, and the aftertaste of the 
you know, that nut. It's really like a banana nut, nut, uh, banana nut muffin. So definitely love it. Love it. Spencer? Banana nut, I'll say I like it a lot, and then I'll, I'll save my thoughts for the snickerdoodle when we get to it. I agree. Chaz? Agree. I, I definitely like this one. And, and the more I think about it, I think I'm going to make some banana nut uh, bread for the holidays, and I'm going to sneak some of this in there to try out. <laughs> I'm going to like it as well for the banana nut flavor. Kyle, round us out with snickerdoodle, buddy. I love it, too, honestly. As I'm just giving out all the love, but um, I love the, the mouthfeel. I like the, the flavor. Uh, the cinnamon, the, you know, like Spencer mentioned, there's kind of like a vanilla note afterwards, kind of a creamy, you know, you mentioned there's like a kind of a dough taste to it. Uh, it's honestly a liquefied snickerdoodle cookie. So also love it. Spencer? The snickerdoodle blew me away. I, I love it. I it's, it's definitely the best vegan flavored protein I've ever had. And it's like right up there with one of the better all time flavored proteins I've ever had, you know, any, any type of protein. It's, I don't know, it blew me away. I, I really love this vegan, the snickerdoodle. Jazz? Agreed. I, I, I like the banana nut, but I, I, I love the Snickerdoodle. Yeah. Very, very good. I'm, I'm, I'm echoing everything that you guys say. I think it is possible that because I like, love the Snickerdoodle so much that I could only give a like it to the banana nut bread. Yeah. But yeah. by far, there is nothing wrong with the banana nut bread. It is immaculate. Um, I do have to agree with you guys. I've had, I've had, I think, only that I can recollect two different snickerdoodles both were whey protein isolates which you would expect to be good mm. um this this is the best snickerdoodle i've had yeah no question just as far as everything and i love the fact that it's vegan i think that's so cool um mm. so you know hats off to morphogen guys thank you so much for joining me on this one and trying out the you know uh, vegan powered with some insta aminos it was so awesome um, really appreciate it. Everyone, thank you so much for making it this far into the CSI Tasting Room. If you're a fan of Morphogen, Ben, drop some love below, and we will see you guys on the next Tasting Room. See you guys. Bye, Bye. everyone.